great aunt. But, uh, and that's almost all I did know about her. She was very old when I was young, but we went to visit her one day, and uh, and uh, I brought my banjo along because uh, I played the banjo, not the guitar, at the time. I was uh, maybe ten, and uh, we went to visit her, and uh, I played a little bit uh, for her. She didn't. Uh, she didn't like the way I played. <laughs> Uh, which was cool, because I didn't like the way she played. Uh, we played in different styles, but she told me, yeah, that's the wrong way to play the banjo. She said, don't play like that. Throw the picks away, you know, if you want to play the right way. I don't want to play like you. <laughs> I thought I didn't say that. Uh, but anyway, so that happened. The other the weird thing that happened that day was uh, when we came up to see her, we, we, we didn't really, we didn't, had not met her, we didn't know much about her, and she had just recently married. She was 78 years old. She was just recently married. She met a fiddle player, fell in love. The guy she was married to uh, died. You know how women outlive their husbands, so. Uh, women live a long, long time, as John Hartford once remarked. But uh, anyway, recently I, I was thinking about that that day and how odd it all was, and uh, I wrote this little tune about the day. I hope you enjoy it. It's called Aunt Peg's New Old Man. Here we go. <laughs> We came up the hill to meet him in the dirt patch he was weeding. That was our first look at Aunt Peg's new old man. Uncle Hank was 75, he lived well and then he died and none of us had nothing against her new old man. She liked his fiddle and go down like his help in the rural route and the rest didn't bear thinking about Aunt Peg's new old man. One hour dead and the stew was made of barley I pulled out my banjo after a while But he didn't like the scrub style Listen up boy, this year's called going down to Raleigh Really 